Let's read Second Timothy. Timothy Chapter three, verse one. We chapter know the scripture. Chapter three, scripture. verse one. Second Timothy, chapter three. Timothy Wabovedi, chapter three. Verse one. Verse one. Matom. Expect Livelela. the unexpected. Chena usadi livelela. But know this that in the last days perilous times will come. I'll just read verse 2. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boosters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderous, without self control brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure, rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying its power, and from such people turn away. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. When I was reading this, I began to see that truly we are in the last days. What we need to develop, we must fear God. Right? Fearing God. Fearing God. We must really fear God. If we can see what I'm reading here, what I'm reading here, the last verse, number five, it says, having a form of goldiness, this is to pretend, this is to copy, this is issues of showing others what you are not. Without the real power. And the Bible says, once you meet such people, because you need to fear God, turn away. Because we are in the last days. This is not the time of compromising. This is not the time of loving money, proud, living an holy life. This is not the time of having, losing self-control. It's a time whereby you know that you are pleasing God in everything you do. This is not the time of pleasure. Because many things will happen to denounce God. And we end up showing we don't fear Him. In this last day, people won't fear God. You know, can you see when you don't fear God? I can still come here and preach. And carry on with my wrong life. This is the time that... People will take God as nothing. Because of their own passions. Their own desires. I want you to know that God is omnipresent. He's even everywhere. What we need to develop is to have fear of him. There was a time where the Israelites were not even fearing God. And then they said, no, Moses, can you just come and speak with us? We want to see God. And the Bible says, they went to the mountain and then also when he was about to appear, Moses said, you must wash your clothes and sanctify yourself so that we meet him tomorrow. They went close to the mountain and he began to come. There was standards. There was 
It was shaking. The whole mountain was filled with a great smoke. And they realized that they can't meet God. It never happened only to Moses. Where you find that even in the time of Joshua. You find this thing will happen even this time today. It happens by the time of John the Baptist. When they cut his hair. You know, this is the time that people who fight you, they will think they are worshipping God. Even Jesus, by the time of Jesus. Remember what was happening with Saul, Pharisees and Sadducees. The issue of not fearing God has been coming from far. By the time of Moses, also, there was a time where Moses, when he was coming to say, God spoke with me. And the sister, the elder sister of Moses, began to look at Moses and say, We are tired of you. We are tired of you. Always, you come to tell us God has spoken with you. Even God can speak with us. And from there, he, she, she had leprosy. She had disease. I believe many things that are happening to Christians is because they are happening because they don't fear God. By the time of the sons of the priests, the Bible says they didn't fear God also. One time they said, no, God can speak with you also. And God was angry and they were shallowed by the earth. So here now is the last days. In the last days, you will find this character. The character of being unholy. Boosters. The things that people will develop to themselves. But these people will be going to church as a form but of the fear God. But their character will be denied. Their conduct will be showing they that they don't fear God. And the Bible says, get away from them. Why? Because they are going to affect you negatively. I don't know if you are hearing me. Can you see every day you that you think this person is a Christian? Later you realize that the person doesn't fear God. What will happen? Later you are going to be affected. You see issues of fear in God can really bring an attack to us. So God wants us to fear him. Tell us about about him. Him. You must fear God. Even before you approach him, fear him. Look how we pray today. We tell God like he's our friend. Our God is our creator. He knows what happens he to us. He knows what has created us. He knows the particles, oh, everything yeah, about us. That has brought us to our being. If you read Luke 12, from 2 to 5, the Bible says, fear God who is able to send yeah, it to hell. He can kill the body and kill the soul. Listen, People always have got limitation. They can kill your body and they have got nothing to do with you. But the Bible says, fear God who can even kill your soul or take your soul to hell. And remember your soul can die. In other words, you can send it to go and live your life in hell. If you read Leviticus 25, verse 17, verse 17, the Bible says you must not wrong to each other. You must never do wrong to each other. And you must fear God. In other words, when somebody does wrong on you, he might be offending God. 
when you do wrong to others, it might be because you don't fear God. The Bible says, do not do wrong to others to gain favor with men. Do not do wrong to others to gain favor with men. Because God must be feared and worshipped. In Psalm 14, 1 to 5, just write it down. Psalm 14, 1 to 5. The fools are saying there is no God. Fools, they say there is no God. In other words, they carry on boasting. They carry on with the form of goldiness. They carry on to be hypocrites. They don't care. They carry on sinning. They say there is no God. People who don't fear God, they can do things that will surprise you. They don't care what is happening. I'm praying today that the fear of God will enter your heart so that you weigh everything you do. You judge everything before you do it. Because whatever you are doing on someone, you are doing it to yourself. I don't know if you are hearing me. When you do wrong, on someone you are judging yourself remember that God is watching he can see beyond what you cannot see he knows the intentions he knows why you are thinking that so now if you do wrong to others thinking you will escape I want to tell you you are not escaping you are just destroying your assignment you are just destroying your destiny. Fear God. Even if you can be delayed for a while. If you fear God, God will make you example to the people who don't fear him. In fact, I pray today that God makes you example of the people who fear him. Fear God. 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 Who fear him like who fear, him? Who fear me like him? He's even afraid of sinning. If my children make parties in the morning, I sacrifice for them. That's the life of Job. He feared God to the extent that he never wanted mistake. I don't know if you are hearing me. I, I just want to pray with someone who fear God. I say in your family, you'll be a sin that will make people to run to God. I want God to bless people who fear Him. I want God to raise people who fear Him. If, if, if you are the one saying, I, I am the one. If you read Romans 3 verse 18, the Bible says there is no fear of God in their eyes. Romans 3 verse 18. You, you can see what they do. Romans 3 verse 18. You see the people who don't have fear in their eyes. They don't care. Even when they look at bad things, they don't mind. They don't mind who's going to say what. There are some people that when you start to do bad things, they look aside. Why? Because they fear God. They don't want to be diluted. They don't want anybody to contaminate them. When you start to see things that will affect their soul, they look aside and say, oh, this is not part of me. We need Christians who can be like foolish but wiser before God. I don't know if you are hearing me. If you read a level where you find people say you are foolish. We need people who can say I cannot steal, I cannot rob, I cannot take anything in the wrong way. Such Christians will be example of bringing the, pro, the presence of God where they are. I, I just want to pray for someone that when people approach you to do wrong things with you, they must be convicted and tend to 
do you what is right. I don't know if you are hearing me. When they approach you, suddenly you sin against when God. I am here to tell you, you won't even hear God them. God will close and your ears. And this year, they will be surprised you are different. If you believe, shout hallelujah. 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 Look here, there are benefits. There are benefits of fearing God, number one. If you read Ephesians 5.11, it says, Submit yourself to one another in the fear of the Lord. Submit. This is, this is the benefit. You will, but submission is part of the benefit. Some people are trying to submit, but it's difficult. They, they, they can pretend for a while. Submission is a fruit of fearing God. Sometimes you, you can pretend to be like you are in submission, but later you will be exposed. I don't know if you are hearing me. There's a fruit, there's a benefit. When you really fear God, you won't care what is happening around you. You won't want what people are saying about you. You won't mind about the future. You, you will carry on with submission, understanding that it's God who you. Even if it looks like you have been delayed or things are not coming your way in the way you expect it. But when the right time comes when the right time comes it is still going to be visible that you had a fruit of submission. I don't know if you are, I don't know if you are hearing me. The Bible says humble yourself under the hand of the Almighty God. And in due time, and you shall be lifted up. There are some people who are here that they are just humbling. It's not that you cannot do anything. But because you fear God, because you fear God, you are just humbling yourself. But the time when you rise up, everybody will know it's your time. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Ask somebody to say, hey, I'm not caring about other people who are trying to compete me and show me I'm a failure. I'm humbling myself in the process of submission. And the time that has been said by God and that time is an appointed time of God that is coming for you and nobody will be able to stop you. I see the fear of God taking you forward. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If we read uh, Proverbs 1, 28 to, 30, 28 to 30, the Bible says, God will answer those who humble themselves. In other words, there's no answer to those who don't, who don't submit, who don't, who don't humble themselves. Those who don't fear God. There's there no answer. God will answer. Can I tell you this? Sometimes when we're living this life here, we love to live coping others. Looking on others. Competing ourselves by others. When we look at ourselves, we begin to ask ourselves why our things are not like others. Listen to this. When you are humbling yourself, when you are submitting yourself, you are not wasting time. You know the one who will answer. I say you know the one who will answer. When you fear God, you become small. Even when you are supposed to respond, you won't respond because you know that there is someone who answers. Can I tell you this? God is about to answer you today. If, if you believe, shout hallelujah. If you believe, shout hallelujah. I see some Christians that have been waiting for the time of God. They are waiting for the time of God. Because they fear God. And others are stealing. And others are prospering in the wrong way. But they told themselves they are fearing God. Christians today, when you live here, your doors are open. The door of prosperity is open. The door of success is open. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Say, hey, I fear God. 
I fear God. Can I tell you this? Sometimes when you fear God, if you don't fear God, because you have been fearing God, you cause harm to others. Look at this man who was running away. When he was running away to Tarashish, when they search for him, when they just search for him, when they find him hiding, they say, why are you hiding? Why are you hiding? Look, we are, we are meeting some stones. Even this God is about to break. And you are sleeping. And that man say, hey, it's because I fear God. But this time, I'm not fearing God. So I hide. But look what you are going through. It can cause many to face challenges when you hide. Can you just come out and show the fear of God? God. He said, hey, I fear the living God. He's the one who's doing this. Even Even if you call another God, he won't answer you. Even if you call another God, this God is so big that he cannot even change what he's doing. But if you want to stop this, take me and throw me into the sea, you will have peace. Can I tell you this? There are some people this year. There are some people this year. That they will know you fear God. Don't hide. Don't hide your God. Come out from that cupboard. Come out and show that your God is alive. I'm here to tell you whatever other people are facing you, you need to declare your God as God. And say, hey, I fear Jehovah. I cannot pretend or mix my God. I know the God I'm serving. You know what will happen? The God whom you serve will answer you. I say he will answer you. You cannot just fear God and remain small. I don't know if you are hearing me. You can't fear God and you don't move forward. When you fear God, God will raise you in front of obstacles. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Say, I fear God and I'm not afraid of the situation that I'm facing. I fear God. I'm not afraid of the situation of the trouble that they are bringing to me. I fear God. That's why I'm still standing and I'm challenging the, the opponents and the plan of the enemy because I fear God. The Bible says when you fear God your enemies will come one way but they will run away seven ways. I'm here to tell you as you fear God I see your enemy coming don't trouble. Rise up and say, Hey, I fear God. I fear God. Your God will raise the standard. If you believe, shout, Hallelujah. Look here. It's simple. It's very simple. It's a very simple thing. I found that you people you can do anything if you want to do it. You can do whatever you can do. But there are some things that when they push you to the limit, you tell yourself, no, 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 no. I won't move from here. If I do it, it's like I don't fear God. I don't know if you are hearing me. There are some things that is happening to you. Even this week, you will see some challenges that are there to challenge you if you fear God. But you will tell yourself, no, 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 no. I, I won't do these things. But after that, you will see God honoring you. I don't know if you are hearing me. I thank God that you have been waiting. Listen, when you wait, it proves that you fear God. You have been waiting. I thank God you have been waiting. Because you have been waiting. Now God is about to honor you. He is about to lift you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. The pastor says, I fear God. I'm not late. I fear God. God. I'm not defeated. I fear God. That's why I'm living this kind of life. It's because I fear God. Listen. There are some people when they are, when they are attacked, the first thing that comes to them is because I fear God. 
It's not that they can't retaliate. I know many criminals here who are saved and throw away guns. But when they are sitting listening to the word of God, you will think they are so stupid. You think they are just useless. But can I tell you this? It's because of the fear of God in them. They can't even retaliate. They can't even fight back. They know the God they are saving. I don't know if you are hearing me. That's why I say, my friend, when you see me quiet, it's because I fear God. When you see me not answering, it's because I fear God. When you see me facing challenges, and I'm sick, and I cannot go anywhere, it's because I fear God. When I'm facing opposition, where I'm working, and I can't fight back, it's because I fear God. Can I tell you this? You are fearing God. I've got a word for you. I want to give you that word. From today, God will start to fight for you. I say God will start to fight for you. I say he will fight for you. Listen, when God fight for you, they will be defeated. Those who fight you, they will be defeated. I'm just giving you two days from now. I see God fighting, I see God fighting for you. I see God fighting for you. Where you are working, God is fighting for you now. Where you are doing business, God will fight for you. You have been you have been surrendering. You have been quiet. Because you fear God. But this time, the fear of God will fall on them. They will be defeated. I see all the Amalekites. I see all the Goliaths. I see them falling in front of you. I say it is your season. It is your time to be known. This is the time that people will know your God. Some of you, they are giving you names that you don't know. Don't worry. The time is coming. I said the time is coming. This is the time that they will fear your God. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let them leave you as they are leaving you. Hey, don't pray for them. Don't pray for them. So that the sound of God of blessings, when it comes upon where you are, they will know that God has answered you. I don't know if you are hearing me. Can I prophesy you? This week, I see from Wednesday. I say from Wednesday. I see you driving your car. I see you having your house. I see you promoting. Can you receive the healing now? I see success from now. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are ready to see God fighting for them? Are you ready to see God fighting for you? Can you receive the power that will make your enemy to tremble before you? That's what I say, hey, just fear my God. Just fear. Just fear my God. Just fear my God. He's about to show them. He's about to show them. He's about to make them to surrender. Just fear my God. Just Fear. Tell them, just fear my God. Fear my God. You know, Christians, the way they behave sometimes, it's like they don't know God. You know, Christians, many of them are even being beaten by witches. Witches which is uh, even better than Christians. They, they trust what they are having. A witch will just come to you and say, I will show you. I will show you. And I'll, I'll, you know, there are those people who beat, you know, there are this one that they use lightning. Those one there, those people are grounded. just tell you, they will tell you, I'll beat you with lightning. I'll beat you with lightning. You, I'm going to beat you with lightning. Christians are not saying something like that. You know, when I was reading about Elijah, everybody was afraid of Elijah. 
You know, remember people will just come and say, please, please, Elijah, please don't run away. I know the Spirit of God will take you away from here. Don't allow me to die. I just, I'm just here. Oh, you know I'm Elijah. Let the fire of God fall upon you. I mean, there are many people that King David has killed. What, what about Elijah? So we Christians, we are so cowards. We are so cowards. And our cowardness is, makes us not to speak a word that will never come to pass. We, are, we, are, we just speak things. We just presume. We just think these things will happen and never happen. And this thing is made by, we don't have fear of God. Sometimes we are so divided. We don't know who are we. A witch will just look at you and say, where are you coming from? Whose child are you? I'll kill you. You will see. From there, when the wish turned, you know that you are going to tell people. You know people. that you are going to tell people. Uri 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 she said or he said, I will see. This is the time now Christians Ye must rise up. Our enemies must hear the fear of God, God we have. I don't know if you are hearing me. They must hear it. The fear will fall upon them. We declare things that will come to pass. We must talk things and people will see those things. I don't know if you you know, many of us, we don't know. If Christians can say you will die, this thing can happen. This thing can happen. We don't know. But we are not called to kill people. We are not Christians to kill. When you fear God, whoever challenges you, challenges God. He will fight you, fight God. Sometimes when you see whatever, relax and wait for God's time. God's time is always the best. I don't know if you are hearing me. I say this week, God will fight for you. I see God fighting for you. I see God fighting for you. I see God answering for you. I see God answering for you. I say it is your message. God is about to fight for you. He's about to fight for you. Are you ready to see God fighting for you? Monday. He will fight for you. Tuesday, and fight for you. On Wednesday, you'll be holding the razor. I say you'll be holding the razor. I say you'll be holding the razor. Whatever they did many years, our God is giving them two days to repent. I say to repent. He's about to fight for you. Are you fearing God? He will fight for you. I say he will fight for you. Are you ready to see God fight?